for Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and this evening I'm filming a flip through of Jane Greenoff, Treasures in Cross Stitch, 50 projects inspired by antique needlework. It was published in 1996, and I found my copy at an estate sale earlier this spring for a dollar. There's some really cute stuff in here, so I thought I would film a flip through to share with you so that you'd be able to tell if it was something that you wanted to pick up when you were out doing your own estate sailing and thrifting because it's hard to pick these books by the cover without actually sitting and looking through them. There are, of course it's got the lengthy section of how to cross stitch just in case this is the only cross stitch book you've ever picked up. There are some projects here that I just don't want to stitch. If I wanted pretty quilt blocks like that, and they are pretty quilt blocks, but I'd make a quilt. This is the Spot Motif Sampler. I really like this white lace thing that's going on there. I found this book, I think, about the time that the Bendy Stitchy Sampler video came out. I love these strawberries, but to be honest with you, what I love is the fabric that they used in that pillow and not the design. This is, I never remember the name, the Dutch Motif Sampler. And it's in, as best I can tell, two different fabrics and two different orders. And there's, I thought, nothing here that I loved, except, guys, look at that tree. I want that tree. And if you flip back to the big sampler, there's the, tr there's the tree. It is not as cute in that other fabric. This is Navajo Woven Rug. And I like the tree and the birds, and it's one of the reasons I talk myself into the book. This is Victorian Silk Oval. I like this one. I love that tree, and I want to love the girls, but I kind of go back and forth. Now, this one is William Morris Flower Pot Embroidered Cushion Cover, and I like this one. This one is pretty, but I'm going to show you something. Here's the needlepoint piece that I saved from the Goodwill bins. About the time that I found this book. I, the, <laughs> I don't think I need this one if I have that one. Maybe. I'd to know what I will and won't stitch. There are a few alphabet samplers, and I'm not sure about these two. They're just, I like them. I don't know if I like them enough that I would take the time to stitch them. I like this little 17th century band sampler. I like the bird, and I like the white on the blue, and... This is one of the patterns I bought the book for. That house and those willows are something I absolutely have to stitch for my life to be complete. Except I have to do something with them that does not involve these pointy little pine trees because I don't understand the pointy little pine trees, guys. And there is some cut work. There's a mirror. I like that it, it, everything in here is just neat and old-fashioned, and again, it's patchwork, and I don't see myself stitching the patchwork. I'll make a quilt. Hand-painted Berlin chart, Victorian Rose Book School. And up the Sheldon tapestries, and they're little bugs. They're cute. I don't know about the bird. And more stuff that, some of the stuff in here just seems jarringly modern compared to the rest. Now, this is the other pattern I bought the book for. I love this Adam and Eve alphabet sampler. I really like Adam and Eve with the tree with the snake. And I looked at it and I thought, okay, this is a little bit too much. Maybe I could stitch it without the cross. 
this doesn't have the cross, but I don't think that it's quite enough. So somewhere in between the two extremes is whatever it is I'm going to make. More spot samplers. And then we're on to the finishing. I think that's it. So it's Jane Greenoff Treasures and Cross Stitch. I have not looked to see if this one is available used on Amazon, but I'll check that out. And if there are links, I'll put them in the description. I hope you enjoyed vicariously flipping through my, my estate sale find with me, and I hope this helped you decide whether or not this is a book you need to track down in order to add it to your own collection. Like I said, that house with the willows and Adam and Eve were the patterns that I know I'm going to stitch one of these days. Although I know better than to say what I will and won't do. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon with a new Flosstube video.